Hello and a very warm welcome to Delhi for finals day at the Yonix Sunrise India Open. Event number four on the 12 tournament OSIN BWF World Super Series. This is the second year the Indian Open has enjoyed Super Series status and as the last opportunity for players to gain ranking points towards Olympic qualification, this year's event has witnessed the drama and excitement of badminton at its very best. Well, there's all 12 tournaments listed, plus, of course, the Super Series finals. The top eight in each of the five disciplines will qualify for the end of the year finals. Well, as I say, it is finals day here at the Yonix Sunrise India Open, and there's our lineup. We're starting with women's doubles, and Bao Sin and Chong Sian Sin in their third final of the year. They're up against the Koreans, Jung and Kim, in their first ever Super Series final. Then mixed doubles and super kick Prakamol and Sara Lee Song Tongkam of Thailand. They're up against the defending champions. And Toei Akman and Milian Natsia from Indonesia. Then women's singles and the only European involvement on finals day is Juliana Schenk from Germany. She's up against Li Xia Rei of China, who's trying to win her second title in two weeks. Then men's singles and the world number one, the defending champion Li Chong Wei of Malaysia, up against the unseeded Sun Wen Ho of Korea. Then the last of our five finals is men's doubles. The unseeded pair from Thailand, Isara and Jongjit. They're up against the World Championship silver medalists from last year. The number two seeds, Ko and Yu from Korea. Well, that really is a tremendous lineup. And as I was saying, the players this week, the intensity of the play, players' dreams of qualifying for the Olympics. Kashyap Parupali in the men's singles. He's secured his place as too has Juala Gutta in both the women's doubles and the mixed doubles. Well, women's doubles final is our first up and uh, what an occasion for both players because, of course, with Jung Kyung Un and Kim Ha Na of Korea, the number six seeds, if they were to win this match, uh, they, of course, currently at number 10 in the world rankings, they may get up into the world's top eight. Now, for them to qualify for the Olympics, they need to be in the top eight because Korea have already got one pair in that status. For the Chinese combination, Bao Yi Sin and Song Sian Sin, well, their second final in an, as many weeks because of course they were beaten finalists last week in Qingdao at the Asian Badminton Championships. There they are. In fact it's their third final of the year. Their two previous finals they ended up losing. The Swiss Grand Prix being the other one. Well prior to this tournament they had played four events this year and obviously losing in the final of course they lost to the winners of the event. But in their other two tournaments, the semi-final of Malaysia and the last 16 of Korea, once again, in those two tournaments, they lost the eventual winners. So that really is quite an extraordinary record. So their opponents from Korea, Jung Kyun Un and Kim Ha Na. this for the Koreans their first ever appearance in a Super Series final being semi-finalists at the Korean Open at the beginning of this year the first Super Series event of 2012 and of course the first premier event as well five of the 12 tournaments are premier status so Jung Kian Young and Kim Ha Na of Korea looking for their first ever Super Series title. Their opponents, of course, already have a Super Series title. That was the Japan Open last year. In fact, it's their only title that they've won since they've been playing together. Both of these pairs actually in their infancy as a partnership because both these pairs only formed their pairing last year. For this Chinese combination, just four tournaments a year ago.
introduced to the crowd in two pairs, the Koreans in the all black kit. Chinese pair with the white shirts on. Well, both these pairs had to play against Japanese opposition yesterday. And the two Japanese pairs sent packing in the semi-finals were the two pairs who were in the final of this event last year. Well, that's uh, perhaps an indication how the game is forever increasing in standard. So the Korean pair needing three games to win their semi-final against the number two seeds, Mizuki Fuji and Oreka Kakiwa. Bao Yi Sin and Chong Xian Sin. Two games against last year's winners, Maeda and Suetsuna. So they had to save a game point in the opening game, which they won 25-23. A little more comfortable in the second, 21-14. But their two previous rounds, they've gone the full distance because in the second round they had to play against the number five seeds, Johari and Polly from Indonesia. And then in the quarterfinal against a more Korean opposition, the number one seeds, Ha jong Un and Kim Ming jong And both of those matches, they dropped the opening game. Well, you can see the number 15 in the world ranking and their win-loss record for the year, translating into two finals, one semi-final and a quarter-final as well. So their opponents Kim actually on the left as we look at them our graphic just round the wrong way and as you can see number six seeds world ranking of 10 and their win-loss record for the year translating in to one final a semi-final and four second round losses as I say they were very impressive in their semi-final against the number two seeds having come back from a game down now this is the third meeting between these two pairs and as you can see the Chinese have won both their previous encounters including that second round match at the Malaysia Open. Two straight games on that occasion. I have to say the first time they met it was three games. So these two pairs will know each other's styles very well as we look at our match officials for the first of our finals. And both of these pairs, I certainly believe, are two pairs that will be right at the forefront of World Badminton over the next Olympiad, the next four-year period. So there's the coach for China. And the Korean coach is Kim Moon Soo, the man who won Badminton's first ever Olympic men's doubles title with Park Jubong. So the fans are trying to snap some pictures of the players. Fort Sports Complex here, the venue being used for the Yonex Sunrise India Open was the venue of course for the 2010 Commonwealth Games, hugely successful event as far as badminton was concerned and a really thrilling finale to those Commonwealth Games with Sina Nawal taking the gold medal coming back from match points down. 
ladies and gentlemen. On my right, Kim Hana, Jong Kong An, Korea. And on my left, Bao Yixin, Son Kong In, China. Son Kong In, to serve to Kim Hana, Lowell, play. So the Chinese combination unseeded. Chong Xian Sin, the first to serve. And Bao Sin, the first to make an error. Over, one low. Oh, what a perfect low serve from Chong Xian Ang. Twenty-two years of age, as indeed is her partner. Whereas the two Chinese players are a little younger. Bao Yixin just nineteen, and Chong Xian Sin twenty-one. So she's going to turn twenty-two in ten days' time. Slightly nervous Seven start. Over, three, one. And the unseeded Chinese combination. Of course, they have won a Super Series event previously. That was the Japan Open last year. And what a tournament they had. They beat the former world number ones in the final. Chen Wen Sing and Chen Yu Chin. And Tai Pei. Two match two, points in the three. second game before coming back to win the third. And they've been giant killers again this week. Three seeded pairs disposed of by these Chinese youngsters. Five seeds for Hardy and Polly. Service over. In the second round. Four, Hardy and Kim, the number two. one seeds in the quarter final. And the defending champions, number three seeds, Maeda and Sutsuna, in the semi final. And they've been in great form. Service over. Three, four. Yes, nice little guided shot from all. From Sian Tends to prefer to play at the back of the court, allowing Bao Yixin to move forward. Bao Yixin is a wonderful mixed doubles player as well and likes to really hunt the shuttle at the net. Service over, 5 4. Demonstrating my point. Hit one from the Seven back of the court. Move forward. Five, all. In fact, hit two from the back of the court. And a wonderful angled shot from Bowie Sin. And they formed their partnership last year. Both the Chinese players, former world junior champion, champions in women's doubles, both gained experience <laughs> with a more senior player. Six, five. a few tournaments with Cheng Shu, his former world number one with Jiao Yun Lei, won the Canadian Grand Prix and also reached the final in Thailand.
for Alex. Seven, five. Just gave it enough pace to him. Make it awkward seven. for Chong. Oh, service fault call struck seven above seven. the waist, says the service judge. Eight, Jung Kian Young doesn't like the call, understandably. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful play from Kim Han Ah. Good interception on the backhand side, and look how she's alert to the second one. Their favoured formation. Seven, nine, seven. Sin's power from the back of the court and variation. There's the power play. Sets up Bowie Sin at the nets. See this time and time again with this pair. She was faulted last time she served. That one was better. <laughs> yeah. Nicely played Nine, once again four. from Kim Ha Na. Wide, good variation from the back of the court Seven from Chong Sian Sin. Ten, nine. Serve is even better return. Luck of the net courts, Eight, of course, four. helping her. Ah. 
as the Koreans who have the advantage at the mid-game interval. Just one point in it, though. First ever final of the Super Series tournament for the Koreans. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Mr. Ashok Kumar is welcoming our guest, Dr. Akhilesh Das Gupta, PAI President. I now request Mr. Vijay Sinha, Mr. Vijay Sinha, Secretary BAI, to kindly welcome our guest. Mr. Ben Yonayama, President Yonix. Well, this is astonishing that this is going on in the middle of a game, let alone middle of a match. Official welcomes going on 11, with the 10, dignitaries. 10. Four. Twelve. Ten. Oh, that's very good judgment. Ball. She was in a position she could have played it. Look how she hits from the back of the court, immediately follows forward once again. Short. Well, she had to be awfully careful, did Kim, that she didn't take the shuffle before it crossed over the net. Oof, that was close. Silver of Sri Lanka. There's Mr. Ben Yoniyama, president of Yonix Company. Just having a word, the umpire with Bowie Sin, showing an aggressive fist towards her opponents. That's not allowed. Fourteen, thirteen. Decides she doesn't like that shuttle. Kim. 14 0. 14, 14 0. No, here. 14 0. This is, this yeah, is, th this is uh, a discussion so because clear. the giant scoreboard at the end of the arena is still showing 12 all. The umpire is correct. It no. is. 14 all. Play. 14 all. Play. Oh, 
Oh, my goodness, that's good. Aggressive return of serve and so alert and ready for the next one. Look at this. Absolutely tremendous. Bowie's in at the back of the court. That's if they have to defend. I'm sure coach Kim Min Soo would much prefer to see his pair attacking, taking the initiative. So it's over. Wow. 16. Fifteen. Uh, that's why I'm sure their coach wants them to be on the attack. The Chinese pair are superb when they get in their favoured formation attacking formation and I do think there's defensively they still have one or two areas that they need to work on Fusion. Both the Chinese players came forward and from that moment on they were in all sorts of trouble. 17, 16. Landed in. 18, 16. No, that must have been plumb on the line. Two point advantage now for the Koreans. That three-point advantage finished off once again at the front of the court by Kim Hana. 1916. So good from the front of the court so far in this match. Kim Hana. She's been the deciding factor. And now on a run of five straight points, four game points. So it's over. 17 20.
super smash. Game. Took a bit of pace off, but the placement was perfect. First game won by Jung Byung-gun, Kim Hana, 21 just didn't 17. Even react. I don't know whether she was leaving it for her partner or quite what she was thinking. Certainly hers to take. But it means that the number six seeds from Korea have taken the opening game, 21-17. Thank you. So both of the pairs have had the opportunity to talk to their coaches. Both have nodded approval of the tactics that have been offered to them. Well, remember, of course, that this is the third meeting between these two pairs and the Koreans have yet to record a victory. They've yet to record Second game. a title no in a Super Series tournament. Play. Only one title to their names, as indeed with their Opponents, Koreans won the Macau Grand Prix at the end of last year. So we saw a one low. Well, Bowie Sin desperately so trying her. to reach the shuttle at One the front of the court. Board. And that totally distracted her partner. And that's why she made a hash of that smash. there of junk. The first one was the one that did the damage. Again, real confusion between the two Chinese players. It's only their ninth tournament together. And still yet to develop that instinctive understanding as who's going for which shot. Developing into a battle between Kim Three, and Bao as to which of the two players can take control of the net. 
opening game, certainly won by the tall Kim Han Ark. There she is. Fault receiver. Oh. And a fault called on Four. receiver. Moved before the serve was struck. And no argument from Bowie Sin. Just a little wry smile. change of pace was a nice idea from Bowie Sin. Two gold medals in fact at the 2010 World Junior Championships, women's doubles and mixed doubles. Oh, that's a super shot once again from Kim McConnor. Five, four. Held the shot to the last moments, totally deceiving the Chinese pair. Smash from junk. Six, four. Junk, young, young. Reached a couple of semi finals in singles events when she was only 16. Mongolian international. And here in India, India's satellite event. There she is. Now concentrating on doubles. And mixed doubles. Oh, and that's landed in. Seven, four. Nearly in. as long that's the drift coming into play Eight, four. got to be very careful with lifts going towards the Korean end of the court <laughs> oh, well tell it was going to happen so she threw her head back as she five, was eight. playing the serve It's another very, very good rally. Six, eight. Well, she may have made the error, but it was a creative attempt. Rather than just lifting Some the shuttle, trying to turn it across court. I do like to see that in young players trying to do something a little bit different, trying to be creative, going for their shots. Play. Oh, 
Well, this time her partner trying to be creative on the defence. Seven, eight. Narrowed the gap to just one point. Four points adrift just a moment ago. Guiding the defensive shots until they got the opportunity themselves to get on the attack. Jung and Kim. Glorious change of pace at the end of the rally. Forced to play the high backhand from Seven. the back of the court, Chong Sian Sin. There it is. And then the power play once again from Jong. And towards the right hip of Bell, you see the perfect placement because she was way too committed to the backhand defence. So a four point advantage of the mid game interval here in the second, having already won the first. Good low Three, serve. Seven. And Chinese youngsters can't Leon. afford to make errors on the return not when they're down. Got to make your opponents play the shuttle. Lead extended to five points now. Another error from Chauncey and Sin. 13, 7. Yeah, and it's a sign to me that she's a little bit rattled. Play. 
Oh, oh my goodness me! And shorts. Wow, well, what a rally! Trying to keep his players focused. Kim in suit. Yes, every time so Sean Sian Sin is forced 40, to play eight. that high backhand, the Chinese pair are in trouble. And a little sign at the end of that rally as well that she's getting very frustrated with herself. First of all, the defensive shot from so Kim Har now Nine hit the top of the tape, 14. went over, and then an extraordinary control on the net shot, perfection on the net shot from Bowie Sin. Kim. Missed it. It's gone long. Ten fourteen. Really taking her time. Oh, she's got it back. What a rally. Yeah, clever smash in the end from Chong Sian Sin. Great attacking Eleven, play. 14. Wonderful defensive play. Made for a stunning rally. Three straight points in the Chinese combination. Play on. Yeah, the umpire's getting a little bit agitated that they're not playing on quickly enough in between rallies. Well, oh, four straight points. The Chinese there have done well because 14. I thought that Chelsea and Sint 
and was beating up on herself a bit and showing a little bit of frustration. Oh, now it's the turn of the Koreans to show frustration. Just a moment ago, there was a six-point deficit. Now, there's just one point in it. an age in between points 41 minutes this match has been in progress there's been quality play all the way through well extraordinary little run all. six straight points and Bao Yi Sin and Chong Sian Sin back level As soon as Kim Han Ark gets involved at the front of the court and gets there 15, early, 14. addressing the shuttle, and well. then he, it does make a big difference. a good serve so it's over. but they couldn't capitalize all. Mm, remember of course this Chinese pair in their second round and quarterfinal matches dropped the opening game in both of those before coming back to win and in fact both of those matches, they were down in the second game before coming back to win. Can they do it a third time? Oh, that's a super shot. Well, they've certainly gone 15, into the lead 15. here in this second game. Um, wonderful use of the mid-court area, pushing the shuttle, tapping it downwards past the net player. We'll and see how it lands still in front of the rear court player. Ideal tactics in doubles. clenched fist from Kim Han Ark after she played the winning shots. 
चौबीस ओवर सेवेंटीन बोल All so desperately close. Every point so precious. Clever placement of the smash. 18, 17. Yeah, first of all, the channel attack down the centre of the court, then switching it out wide. And Kim found wanting on her defence. Change of pace. So it's over. Bracket arm outstretched, 18, taking it high. Ball. And the racket head control then to play that lovely little block. Thank you. Eighteen or Well, that's why I like to see players being creative on their defensive play, trying to turn the shuttle, because when it works, my goodness, it turns the rally around. Look at that from Jung. Super. Allowed her partner to go forward to the net. There's the turning of the shuttle. Kim then moves forward. And now two points away on the title. Good defence again. Ah! It's long of the back line. And now Jung and Kim on the verge of victory. Match point 18. Two match points. and Kim Mahana, their first ever Super Series title and their first ever victory 
in three attempts over Bao Yi Sin and Chong Sian Sin. Two straight games on a run of four points at the end to close it out from 17 Match 18 won down. By Zhang Jiangan, Kim Hana, 21 17, 21 18. Well, the tears Match of joy seven. for the Koreans. Far to this. India Open had never been in a Super Series tournament final. And here they are, they leave Delhi having achieved the title and perhaps, who knows, a world ranking that may take them into the top eight in the world and therefore Olympic qualification. We'll have to wait and see about that, but we know for certain they are the champions of the Yonic Sunrise India Open for 2012. There's how they did it, 21-17, 21-18 in 50 minutes of play. Well, there were so many stunning rallies in that women's doubles and I said just as the match was about to get underway that I saw this these two pairs have really been in the forefront of women's doubles over the next four years well I'm a little behind the time because quite frankly they're already at the forefront of world badminton in women's doubles two outstanding young pairs and we will see an awful lot more of both of these combinations. So once again, confirmation of the score. 21-17, 21-18 to Jung Kyung Ung and Kim Ha Na of Korea. What an entertaining first final we've just had in the women's doubles and Jung Kyung Ung and Kim Ha Na coming through against Bao Yi Sin and Chong Sian Sin. And the skill level of all four players in that women's doubles final, well, once they become a little more consistent with some of their adventurous shots, which I'm sure they will, who knows, these two pairs could take women's doubles to an even higher level. Well, the prize presentation for the women's doubles for a third time this year. Bao Yi Sin and Chong Xian Sin have to settle for second best. Jung Kyun Ung and Kim Ha Na, their first ever Super Series title, their second title that they've won together, of course they won the Macau Grand Prix last year, but today was their first ever appearance in a Super Series tournament final as a pair, first time either of them have been in a Super Series final and they've ended up as the champions. Ben Yoniyama presenting the medals. 
Ben Yoniyama, president of Yonex Company. So not only the status of Yonex Sunrise India Open champions but also a handsome check. 15,800 US dollars. But perhaps this victory far more significant. The start of many, many good things to come, I'm sure. For this Korean pair. Grover, managing director, Ocean India, to kindly present the youth squeeze fit to the players. The youth squeeze fit to the winners of mixed women's doubles. So our title sponsors, Ocean. Also making title sponsors, of course, of the whole Super Series, making presentations to the players. Yeah. 